Hey, how's it going everybody? We're back with the um, Chrome box set up here. Um, so yeah, I had the Chrome OS installed back on it, got rid of the um, Enterprise lock. But uh, yeah, we're not able to really use Chrome too much because it wants us to update the browser, which is, which you can't anymore. Basically, just got to get a new newer device. So can't really use Chrome OS on too many apps. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and install Ubuntu on here. So I went ahead and um, got the uh, command right here off of Mr. Chromebox. And also this other video here from Computer Headquarters. Um, you know how to install. They're installing Windows 10, but uh, I want to go ahead and install Ubuntu. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put a different bootloader on here and get rid of that Chrome OS. Uh, go ahead and uh, press Option 2 to install updated UEFI full ROM. Okay, do you wish to continue? Flashing a full ROM will remove the ability to run Chrome OS. Do you wish to continue? Yes. After flashing UEFI firmware, you will need to install UEFI compatible OS. Chrome OS will no longer be bootable. Uh, press Y to continue or any other to abort. Alright, we're going to press Y to continue. Okay, this is um, it's highly recommended in case you wish to run your device. Stock configuration Chrome OS. Uh, would you like to recover using an internal program? You will need to recover using an external EPROM program, no problem. Um, so, uh, okay, so it's basically going to make a backup of it. Well, let's just go ahead and press yes for that. Well, so I think it's saving a backup. Connect the USB device. Yes. So we already have a USB connected. Um, to store the firmware backup and press enter to continue. Alright, enter. There goes our PMY. Enter the number of the device for your firmware backup, number one. Alright, so it's saving our firmware, stock firmware backup. Former backup complete, remove the USB stick, press continue. So we have our Chrome box back here. Alright, All right, press continue. So now it's downloading the full boot, full ROM firmware, core boot, EDK, uh, let's see. Disabling software write protection and clearing WP range, installing full ROM firmware make it take up to 90 seconds. All right. We have our another USB over here. Uh, actually has Ventoy with uh, Ubuntu, Windows 10, and I got some other stuff on there. I think Kali Linux. So we'll be plugging that in. First boot after flashing makes it any too longer. Da, da, da. Press enter to return to the main menu. And then we're going to uh, P for power off. Hit enter. Powering the machine off. Alright, let's go ahead and plug in our USB. Power it on. Let's see what happens here. We should get the little uh, turtle looking thing. A rabbit. Turtle. <laughs> the uh, Mr. Chromebox rabbit icon. There we go. So I think you hit escape, right? Okay. So let me get into the USB here, and I'll be right back. All right, so I was able to get into it. Uh, I needed to get into the boot menu and select the USB. That's all it was. I just I was it kept going past the boot menu. So I got boot menu and then uh, boot for my USB. Now we're gonna click on Ubuntu. Go. 
Все забанти. So I will go ahead and get this installed because I don't think I want to sit through an installation here. And I will come back once uh, I reach the desktop and we're able to use this thing. Hey everyone, how's it going? So we're back. We went ahead and uh, uh, installed Ubuntu on this. Got rid of that Chrome OS. Um, yeah, we were just having too many problems. We weren't, weren't able to install uh, certain applications because it says that your browser needs to be updated and we can't update it no more because the system's already up to date. So it's basically telling you you need to buy a new system. So yeah, we got rid of that. Went ahead and installed Ubuntu on here. So, and another thing too, this is a touchscreen. It took me a, I didn't know why I didn't snap in the beginning, of course, because it's a kiosk. Um, that's what they had it for before. So yeah, I don't even know why, but yeah. So we got a, went ahead did, uh, did hit the, went ahead and did the sudo app get install uh, hard, hard monitor, hard info. So we have our hardware uh, monitor info here. Um, so two core, two thread. The CPU is a 3215U, 1.7 gigahertz. We only had two gigs of RAM in here, but um, yeah, I want to up, uh, upgrade this later. I want to put a um, like a 512 M.2 and then maybe 16 gigs of RAM. But yeah, all this is working. Uh, let's see what happened here. Mm. There we go. Okay, so can even hit the play here. Uh, sound, everything is just working out of the box. We can drag around this. Uh, let's see our sound up here. It's this is a. Um, I probably need to select something else here. Let's see. This is um, internet radio, some stations, there we go. So. So sound, everything works. Um, there. So there's our, when he hit data, sudo app get update too. So we got our updates on here, but yeah. Just wanted to share that. And so when it was on the Chrome S, Chrome OS, we did the uh, what is it? Control Alt F2 to bring up the um, I guess like a developer mode. And then uh, went ahead and put in a command from the uh, Mr. Chromebox site, and then it was put the uh, it was able to install the uh, the ROM, the full firmware, uh, open core. I'm sorry, core boot. So with core boot, then you can boot off of a uh, USB stick with your ISO on there. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot better with a uh, lot better with this. All right, just want to share that. Thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe. Have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.